Welcome to the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of June 4th, 2018. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know that I did, and I'm recording this with a whole bunch of things having crossed my desk in the last two or three days, a bunch of rumors, a bunch of speculation, and I think that it's all really kind of exciting stuff. And let me tell you, I I love speculating. I love looking at the future and wondering how cool things are going to be in the coming years. And I know that you guys do too. And that's where it makes it really confusing and difficult to know exactly where things are going when you tend to not get a lot of information. Back in the old days when DirecTV was its own company, sometimes we would get information coming through official and unofficial channels way long time before we really needed it. So what you had to do back then was you looked at uh, statements coming from investor days or stock reports or things like that. And all you had to do was hold on to that information for six to nine months and it would begin to make sense. In the AT&T days, well, things are a little bit different and not necessarily bad different, but different. And you tend to not get a lot of information from AT&T at all. Um, So there's nothing to decode. It makes it a little bit harder to speculate and it means that sometimes you get some really wild theories going out there. I have heard some very, very strange things in the last two days and I got to tell you, it's most of it just isn't true. Um, The one thing that you do need to know, and I've said this before several times on the Solid Signal podcast, satellite TV is absolutely not going away. Think about satellite TV and streaming as a sort of an additive process. In other words, you have choices now that you didn't have in the past that, you know, if you are unable to get satellite TV, there's there are streaming options that are available to you that were not available before. And that's just going to get better and better. As we see improvements to DirecTV now and DirecTV's own processes, I think that you'll see things continue to improve. And this means that you should, honestly, you should be pretty excited about it. I know I'm pretty excited about it. And it, there's going to be this tendency, and I've heard a lot of this the last couple of days, oh, that we should, you know, it, it, it's it's the end of the road for satellite TV. I keep hearing people say that, and they want to say it. It's, it's It must feel good to say. It must feel like some sort of closure or something like that. But folks, no matter how many times you say it, it's, it's not going to make it true. Because AT&T is a healthy, healthy company. DirecTV Satellite continues to do very, very well, and their investment in technology has been very, very strong. And I'll say the same thing about DISH. DISH has built a strong streaming backbone to go along with its satellite TV service, and no one is really saying within either organization that that streaming backbone is going to replace satellite. The only people who are saying that are the speculators, the people who really don't have a huge amount of information in front of them. And hey, I I love, I love kind of talking about that stuff. I love going ahead and making these future statements that will probably be true or possibly be false and and then going back and seeing how often I'm right and how often I'm wrong. The more and more we realize though that we don't have the whole picture in front of us and that in the 21st century because of the competitive nature of things that more and more things are being hidden from us uh, as far as business plans, the more it becomes very difficult to estimate what the future is going to be. Look at 5G. 5G seems to be one of those things that the statements are coming out fast and furious, but they contradict each other and they seem to pivot one way or the other. Uh, is AT&T going to continue to push 5G as a fixed wireless solution? In other words, a solution that gives you wireless internet to the home to replace your wired internet? Lately, there have been some statements from AT&T's Randall St- Stevenson that have contradicted that. And yet, We know that they are moving forward. They have been moving forward. And so is that just smoke and mirrors or are we just taking something out of context? As far as 5G and cellular, we talk about how that's coming fairly soon and yet fairly soon probably means two to three years before it becomes a really viable thing. Because if you look at some of the technologies now that are being used for 5G phones, the truth is they're just... (laughs) They're yielding some really unpopular looking phones because of what it takes to do 5G today. Even the very, very short term future seems very uncertain as far as what direction we're going. The only thing that we can say for absolute sure and no is that it's all going uphill. And by uphill, I mean things getting better, things getting stronger, internet speeds getting faster, more and more selection and more and more choice. 
that's the good news. I'd love to hear from some of you in the comments about what you think the future is bringing and whether or not you think that I'm being too Pollyanna-ish about it. Uh, leave a comment under the YouTube video or on the Solid Signal blog. That's about it for me for this week. Uh, you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.